and Harold Hanley. Tickets were uh, dispensed here by Shirley. <laughs> but a, little, a, lot, a lot of setting up, and this is going to be a really exciting event that we're going to do first and third Thursdays of the month. So, welcome. You guys are all welcome to come and, uh, and uh, bring friends and everything. We got this AC turned, cranked up, so just give that a few minutes to kick in and everything circulating, so that should, uh, should come back, back better for you. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just uh, going to briefly introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dr. David Otto. I'm a pediatric and wellness chiropractor. And I've been practicing for seven years. I've been a vegetarian for two and a half years. Uh, try to do the vegan thing. And uh, everyone who's vegan, man, the hats off to you. That is really, really tough to do. But we've got a lot of great vegan food here tonight for you guys to enjoy. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Karen. And we were worried that there wouldn't get me enough food, so she was up to like one in the morning making all this food. So everyone eat. <laughs> you like leftovers. <laughs> I want to just briefly go over the purpose of the group. And for us taking forward, we just want to tell you what the purpose and the mission, mission statement is. Uh, we don't want to pass any judgment on anybody. There's a lot of people here that are straight vegans. There's a lot of people that you know picked up McDonald's yesterday, uh, and everyone in between. So uh, it's it's up to you uh, what you want to participate in this club. Whether you want we we uh, very much appreciate if you're going towards vegan or vegetarian, or if you just want two meals out of the month that are really awesome. You know whatever you guys decide. We're not here to pass judgment on you. We're going to go ahead and just do a few uh, quick definitions of. of what vegan, vegetarian, and we said carnivore. And so, <laughs> uh, vegan are no animal products, butter, cheese, eggs, things like that. So there are dishes here for the straight vegans that don't eat anything that has any animal products in it whatsoever. And then there's the vegetarian that just doesn't eat the animal meat, like the chicken, turkey, beef, or And I guess a step down from that would be someone that's a carnivore but just uh, eats wild game or things that doesn't have antibiotics or steroids in there. And so there's different levels as you go, go down. So talk to people in the room. There's people who have been vegetarians for years. There's people who have been vegans for over 30 years. Right, Sharon? Yes. Over 30 years. So there's a lot of wealth of knowledge right here at the table. We have people uh, traveling from how far? Of course, too. Riceville, and that's like in Alabama or something. So. <laughs> We're so glad that those guys are here. And here's, here's our mission statement. And we, before I show this, uh, it's a Hallelujah Acres, but we want to actually expand this from not only great eating, but also great exercise and great. Uh, sleep and all these other great things. And so we're going to introduce that into the program. And here's our mission statement for the group. Our mission statement is to educate our minds, nourish our bodies, and fellowship, and fellowship with our hearts according to God's principles of health. And hearts is in parentheses because it's really your mind. Your heart is just an organ that needs blood. <laughs> All right, tonight's event, I just want to run down how the evening is going to go. Uh, basically, it's going to be informal, you know, kind of picnic type most of the time. Get around, meet people, circulate, learn from others here. Uh, but we are going to do uh, an introduction, uh, introduction and uh, welcome the visitors to the So that will be the first thing. If you didn't bring any food, that means that you've probably never been to one of these things before. And so you're a visitor and you want to stand up and just give like a 10 second or maybe an 8 second uh, talk about who you are when we go around and uh, and then we're going to go and all the people that were here before and actually gave, brought food, they're going to stand up and introduce themselves and since the food's up here, my wife Karen is going to hold up your dish and say what's in it and then we're, we're going to do recipe exchange and that's something that I thought long and hard on how we're going to do with this group and uh, I think it's kind of interesting how we're going to do it so I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we will do a uh, prayer before eating because this is a, a Christian group. And then we're going to eat. And when we eat uh, with the thing, we say yum yum. <laughs> so, for those of you who know, we are keeping that tradition. So after you say a dish, you say yum yum. After the recipe, you right. Food, then you go yum yum. <laughs> and then, uh, then there's a time for testimonials from members on healthy eating plans. Because there's people here that, like I said, just came back from. McDonald's the other day and they don't know what it is to be vegetarian, vegan, or other health. So if you have a testimony, you can stand up and for 
12 seconds or so, <laughs> go ahead and uh, give, your, give your thought. And, uh, on a no, I, you know, take a few minutes and just say what it means to you and how it's changed your life. Changed your life. Uh, then we're going to have a 15-minute uh, health presentation uh, by an outside guest speaker. And your guest speaker this evening happens to be me. <laughs> but each week, we're going to have a new, a new speaker. And the speaker next week is going, next time, is going to be Sharon. And she's going to do, what are you doing? We're going to original design of the body. Our bodies were designed to each <laughs> So that's awesome. And I wanted her to do some other stuff. because She's got some, all, a lot of great stuff about uh, midwifery and all this other great stuff. So she's going to come back. All you guys are open to coming up and, and talking at a meeting for about 10 to 15 minute presentation. If you have something you want to say, you'll email me and we'll put you on the schedule, okay? All right, and then there's question and answer, and there's uh, there's only three and a half minutes for that. No, I'm just kidding. Any time you guys want for question and answer. And then the last is to collect the recipes and announcement of next meeting. So you could, and you guys can stay as long as you want, as short as you want, uh, but just make sure that you figure out what's going on at the next meeting before you guys leave, and also the recipe thing, which I'm going to go over in a second here. Recipe swap. Mmm. Okay, all recipes will be posted. Now this is my ideal. Okay, so all recipes will be posted on the email newsletter. So the best format, please, is to email me your recipe before each meeting. And there is my email address. That way we can put it on the newsletter and get it out to you. Okay, that is the best. So just think about that one. Forget about all the other ones. The second best is bring me in a floppy disk or a CD with the recipe on it. The not favored is bringing typed in recipe for us to scan into the computer. The you're killing me is the handwritten recipe for Misty to encrypt possibly with a Da Vinci code into the computer. Okay? So please let's go to the back to the first one and do the best one to get that to us. Best one. You, you gotta email it. Okay. And there's we'll just keep that up for you guys so you know what's going on and we're gonna do do visitors first. Can you, can, can you put that email address? Okay. 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 And you guys can get information about help on our website as well. Okay. Karen's going to take over this. She's got a very good time saving, time efficiency. This Karen right here. So Karen's I'm just going to hold up your, the food, and if you brought that, if you can describe it to us, tell us what's in it, and, be yum yum, and then introduce anybody else who you brought with you. That would be good. And I think that will be quicker. So, and Sharon brought a bunch. I know this is her. That's a totally raw raw food uh, pizza. It's made with sprouted buckwheat, and uh, the sauce is made out of sun-dried tomatoes, nutritional yeast, lemon, water. Uh, the herbs are uh, oregano, basil, cumin, and uh, uh, paprika, and uh, then it just has tomatoes and, and uh, things like that. <laughs> and we say, yum, yum. 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 <laughs> This is a vegan way to substitute mayonnaise. We love it. We go through about a jar a week.